Um, like I'll have games when the enemies are bad. I feel like I just carry the lobby because it's really easy to hit shots on them. Right. When people are actively strafing against me, or um, especially like Alaris love to take the duel, and that's that's, that's a really tricky one because her her hitbox is small and she two tasks me, and it f feels like it's really hard to land that shot long range. I I really struggle with it. A lot of the ones at this level are jumping all the time, so I feel like I should be able to, but I don't know that my reaction time is there or my aim to really be able to, you know, hit that correctly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, okay, so some challenges of the same, some challenges with maintaining angles going back. Right, Ooh, right, angles. which we saw in, like, I think our very first session. I kept doing that, and I, I still sort of struggle with that. When when I it's things are calm, it's before the fight, I'm take an angle and it's good but oftentimes the best angles are during the fight and um then i i just get caught up in it i'm trying to hit my shots and i'm mm -hmm. not not focused on it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um i also struggle a little bit with the sombra dive even the threat uh, like it seems like i have to dodge the the virus in order to win that otherwise i have to hit my first headshot and even then she, she probably still kills me because she gets that free Virus plus a little bit of damage, and then it's like, I, I don't know. That feels like a very difficult matchup for me. What um, about you using verticality more when you able to against Sombra? So it depends. If she starts with hack, then there's no luck. But if you're saying before, then she can throw her teleporter up to me. Sometimes I'm standing at high high locations, and she'll just sort of shoot me off it. And then I'm in the back of my team, and it's just a difficult spot. She has a lot more vertical mobility than she used to have. I feel like actually sometimes like the more spread out for my team, the worse I'm off, I am. So then I find myself not taking that many angles against the Sombra, and that's tricky. Mm -hmm. You know, remember I'm how sort of we relying on them to lose. playing against Dive in general. Right. Want to do right? So it's kind of the right. same story uh, versus the Sombra specifically. Most Sombras at the high level, you want to start with virus. Why? Because you want to kill the target fast. It's just more burst. Right. That hack is more of a tool which allows to disable ability if there is a certain ability which makes it hard to kill for example if you're playing sombra and going after kiri i think right. you probably want to hack first if you go after something like doomfist ability dependent well you can hack first so he will not get out he will not block well actually most of the tank you usually hack first so ability dependent. You use Hanzi, you're not as ability dependent. Even though you have Storm Arrow, it's... Uh... Yeah, Storm Arrow and Lunge and Wall Climb, to me, are all critical tools for escaping the Sombra. And so yes. I, I agree with you generally, though. I think, in, in general, I'm more scared of the one that Virus is first. Because the Virus is is yes, exactly. harder to avoid. You know, it's much harder for me to avoid it. Exactly. And the if I hear her, I, I just lunge immediately. That's what I've started doing, yeah. and that's okay. You could, you could try. But it's not, it's not great. It's, like, not amazing. I have found, when I play near my team, I do a lot better. But, again, like, I have to be able to protect my team from the dive. And I, mm -hmm. I don't know, I've had trouble hitting my shots lately against it. Mm -hmm. It's tough, because then I'm playing with the team. I'm, like, I'm in a more dangerous position in general than I am, like, a little bit off an yeah. angle. Yeah, so finding positions which allow you to stay alive, basically, is the key. Right. So if Sombra is sowing the virus, I think the usual answer is what do you do with your m movement? So you can totally do something. It's okay. Mm -hmm. You can try to... Uh, <clears throat> you can try to wall climb some way. You can try to lounge sometimes around the corner yeah stuff like that so, so she will not do as much damage she's just anything what can help uh you on the other hand you really threatening with the one shot so for sure really... uh, if i land that shot then it's good but yeah, i have one shot basically if she lands virus on me i have one arrow and i have to hit it and it's yeah. you know i'd say i probably get that 20 percent yeah. of the time D don't, don't don't forget you, you still have the abilities here yeah? so we want to combine we want to combine the shot and the wall climb. That's why we've been talking a right. lot about how you using your verticality. If she's using hack, should be you should have much bigger advantage technically because right. I should have more time to react. Yeah, exactly. So you you okay? You don't have to use your abilities in this case. But if she's starting with virus, like most numbers do, yeah, you have to do something with the movement. That's why there's been a lot of focus. It's been kind of a little bit of a problem. Remember, we are playing against big bursts. We're playing against. Tracer, we're playing against right. even monkey actually monkey jumps mm -hmm. you you don't want to stay you could just it's very similar yeah 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 yeah, yeah. you can just
maybe wall climb up somewhere and try right. to go from I've, there. Yeah, I've been having a lot more success since our last one. Mm. In general, just like I, before, I'd stand my ground. I think against dive way too often, mm. and now I I run away first, and then if I have support, I go back in, and that's a lot better. I've been doing so much better versus dive. It's mm -hmm. really only Sombra that I struggled with. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I have I have example codes for each of issues with strafing and issues with Sombra. Um, the Sombra matchup, I feel like I could still sort of I could figure that out. I actually don't mind playing against it that much, but it is mm -hmm. it is annoying. But the strafing stuff is more obnoxious to me because it's really tilting. I feel like I'll spend forever shooting at someone who's just strafing and killing my team, and I'm not right. I'm not doing very much, you know. Right. Even though they're in a, sense, they're in a right. very vulnerable position in some ways, you know. Makes sense. Makes total sense. Mm -hmm. When you've been practicing all the concepts you mentioned, you picked one concept at a time, just one concept right. per game, right? That's what they've been doing. Right. It's, it, yeah, I try to do like one about one to two per game. So I'll do one for the first half, one for the second half, kind of thing. Um, at you... this point. It, Mm -hmm. uh, did you have a chance to do interly that inter interly mm -hmm. practice we mentioned? Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. That's what that's what I've been trying to do. I okay. think it's been good. I've almost internalized. I think tr trying to take off angles at least a lot more. There's certain chokes that I I feel like the off angles are not as prevalent. Like right after you attack first point, uh, Blizzard World, and then there's just a single arch. Mm -hmm. Like there, there's not too much. I'll I'll take the the high ground behind it, which is a little bit of an off angle, but it's not exactly the same. Well, but for the most part, I feel good about different position. See, off angle, right. it's a position where you're not staying at that most common picking position, uh, like, so to speak. Most common picking position most likely going to be where was your quarters. So if mm -hmm. your core is in low ground and you're on high ground, you're on off angle. It's just that different types of off angles we kind of want right. to uh, be. Sometimes you want to be on the side a little bit more, like taking those 90 angles. Maybe that is something we're going to talk today, actually. We'll see. Yeah. Maybe we... Yeah, the 90 degrees, mm -hmm. I, I feel like uh, there's so much pressure on me to hit the shot, and I, I just miss, and then I die if I'm on a 90 degree angle. Mm -hmm. but I, so I do like Interesting. that a lot more. What, yeah, what, I feel like... so much pressure, you think? Yep. Because if I miss the first shot, they're going to notice and turn around, and then oh. I'm very, very... I'm in a much more vulnerable position because usually 90 degree angle, the healers can't see me. Not always, but almost always, I feel. Okay. So okay. I I feel a lot of pressure to land those early shots. Um, if I'm well behind cover, then I feel a little bit better, you know, if I'm not getting too close. Fine. But then I'm also, I actually struggle to land those shots a little bit more even than like, um, mm. even if I'm head on, to be honest. Oh. Uh, what about uh, people randomly moving forward is just... Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Uh, it's understandable. But why they're moving forward? That's interesting to me. It Usually seems it's like... like they're, they're, they're like, it's like an anarchical and they're healing their tank. A lot of people are randomly moving forward all the time. Oh, um, yeah. I just see and... the pattern of the movement. If you get the timing right, mm -hmm. the pattern of the movement should be that most of the movement is going to be de-strafing for them. That's when you want to kind of shoot them. So if right. there's a, their priority, movement forward or back, that means your time is not there for some reason. Right. Mm. I think my, my that's exactly what it is. I'm just not used to hitting those shots, and I don't have, I'm not good enough to hit them. And then I, then I like I said, I'm in a bit of a vulnerable position. So mm -hmm. I, uh, I've really struggled doing that okay. successfully. We can take a look, yeah. So we have the kind of three things with it here. Probably it's the timing, it's just how we maintain angles. And looking about 90 angles a little bit more, but let's see mm -hmm. if there's anything else. Uh, do you have any codes we can... Yeah, I have I have some. Those discard um, issues. <laughs> especially. Yeah, for each issue, like I said. I have some for the strafing issue and yes, and one yeah. for the uh, for the sombra issue. A strafing, um, it, it was when the enemies are strafing, yeah? Yeah, that's where they're strafing against me. So that's yeah. more like, I just feel like there were so many times that I had some relatively easy shots and I just kept missing and missing and missing. Yeah, and maybe it's crossword placement, you know? I don't know. Let's take a look. Um, sure. It's, it's crazy because in between the sessions, I had games that I did extraordinarily well. But you know how it is. Sometimes Hanzo, especially, I feel, is so boomer bust. It's so much like... 
<laughs> well, you know? Yeah, I understand that for sure. Yeah. It's, why it's like I, I get told this. to uninstall one game and the other game that people are accusing <laughs> me of hacking. And it's like immediate after, right? Like, it's crazy. <laughs> yeah, I feel like it's really good mental training. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? Yeah, you're still gonna have games where you do really well. Sometimes you do not pass. Our idea is to just increase skill ceiling at any point of time. Basically, right. You're gonna have off days. It doesn't matter who you are. You might be a professional player. They still have off days. It's just their skill ceiling is so high that even on off days they perform really They're good. They're still way better than yeah. yeah makes sense. <laughs> so, makes sense. That's our idea. Well, do you see my stream right now? Is it working for you? Yes. Yep. Okay. So, Steffi, when the issue appeared, when when it was exactly? So I'd say, um, by and large, you notice. Let me let me try to remember this game. I played it earlier today. Yeah, yeah. I think what it started off with was there was a junk rat, um, spamming, and I was trying to shoot him for a little while. That was tougher because he was at an angle, or I, I was shooting him from low ground. So that was whatever. So here I'm just applying pressure, whatever. And here's a junk rat. I notice him there. And so this is annoying, right? This is a ju jump I'm talking about. That Anna was so yeah, so free. I mean, look at her. She's walking across yeah, my vision. Exactly. I have two shots. I miss every single one. Very frustrating. Oh, ah. Okay, interesting. <laughs> I moved my, my so curves there a little. If but... we look at it. And then mm -hmm. it appeared, okay, and then it appeared that you shouldn't the junk rat. Let me slow down. So you, Yeah, afterwards you, I think I tried to. Yeah, oh, no. try to shoot the junk rat after as well. Right, and then, and then place... he didn't strafe out necessarily. I don't know that it would have, yeah, it was too high anyway mm -hmm. to hit him. Mm -hmm. I don't think it would have hit him. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm thinking, but the first thing is definitely kind of, you have to do a lot of prediction with the shots, obviously. It's just right. the practice. It's the play time. You right. see there's a certain pattern of movement. You try to kind of shoot in between the pattern. Kind of, you know. Right. Let's but it, it's easier for me on hit scan because I just click when I, you know, it's like, duh, yes. duh, duh, duh. Yes. But here it's yes. a little bit offset, right? Yes, I need to. Exactly. You have to predict. And I, I'm, not, I'm not there yet. Like, I really am not. Yeah. This one, like I, this one, I almost try to shoot it like a hit scan, right? Like I aim for her head. I, I see the twitch go to her head like that. See, which is yeah. not really correct. Yeah, exactly. I see, have the to lead it more. Movement kind of looks like this. Yeah. Right. So wanna shoot in? So let's say the junk is moving left and right. The anus. Well, this is kind of an, an exception. You, you cannot just go back and forth. Well, you could actually mm -hmm. do that. If she's repeatedly jumping, you could kind of catch mm -hmm. her off guard and shoot in the middle of the pattern. But you have right. to predict. You have to do it a little bit before. It just plays the cross, right. s cross a slightly in front. Right. I look at the here. really good guys, and they, the second they see the jump, they're moving the crosshair there, mm -hmm. where you're pointing. Mm -hmm. And I'm not... Sort of. Yeah, I'm not... My reaction isn't there yet. Like, mm -hmm. it really isn't. Or the I, aim, you know, one of the two. Uh, you know, mostly it's not about the reaction, it's about anticipating. Yeah, it's about mm -hmm. where do you so expect the them jump? to go. Uh, <laughs> really, you, you don't even have to predict the jump. Well, you could. But you don't, no, 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 you, you don't have to, you don't, you do have to look at the movement and then anticipate what that movement means. Uh, imagine, I usually use this analogy a lot, uh, imagine two football players, one, yeah, there was a study even, so mm -hmm. one new player and one professional player, what they try to do, uh, they try to outplay the defender, they try to get the ball basically yeah they right. try to get right. the ball. they're in a duel mm -hmm. yeah yeah they try to get the ball from defender so the first time the new player was trying to outplay the defender the second time the professional player the, that was a ronaldo by the way they tried to yeah. outplay the defender as well and um you know they had eye trackers and where mm -hmm. do you think they were looking like let's let's think the the new player where do you expect him to look when uh, you people's feet People's feet, well, that's uh, that's uh, I guess it's hard when you're playing football, <laughs> you uh, can't necessarily maybe their yeah, head, yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, new player would actually look at the 
ball a little bit more. See, like oh, the they ball. Yeah, they're looking sense. at the consequences. It's the right. same as in the shooter game. A lot of people say, you know, this guy hit me like with the sleep dart. I could have, I could have dodged the sleep dart if my reaction was good. But it's not about the reaction. It's about you anticipating. Uh, first right. of all, about your game sense that the sleep dart is gonna happen. But it's also about the movement, seeing certain things coming from the character. I see the arm right. just going up or arm doing certain movement and then i know where the sleep dart is gonna go when it's gonna right. go as well and it's kind of the same thing in the football we we have to look to understand the movement of the ball we have to look at the feet we have to look at the hips maybe and then uh, the good player can actually predict where the ball is gonna go yeah and that's that's right. that, that's where the ronaldo was looking it was looking like no, it makes sense yeah and that's that's why you have to do it as well you kind of see the movement you have to understand that that what that movement means if she starts here then where she's gonna end up yeah where where that ball right. is gonna end up kind of right exactly yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's, it's part of it is, is like of i think practice for me um Hitting that, but to your point, less less reactive and more anticipatory or more predictive. You know, one thing that helped me like crazy with my aim against Farah was the little noticing the little uh, boosters on the back of her on her back before yeah. she strafes. There's like a very sizable delay while the boosters are going blue and then it moves. You know what I mean? Exactly. Like because she has so much momentum relative to the other characters, and that yeah. just made my aim so much better. But mm -hmm. obviously, like normal characters don't have nearly as much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the, the habit can be just seeing that certain movement, yeah, like it can be fire boosters, it can be something else. And anticipating anticipating what that movement means, where the character is going to go based on that right. movement. It can be jump, it can be strafing. <clears throat> That's yeah. just kind of one... Typically for strafing, I'm trying to... I, I put my crosshair between them and the cover because people always okay. strafe for a little while against Hanzo and if you're just staring at them, they're going to duck behind cover. Exactly. But I, I I miss, you know, I, I get the timing wrong. Like I'm just not there. And so, yeah, then And especially if they do stay out, then I get anti too, you mm -hmm. know? Yeah. Which is tricky. Exactly. So it just feels like we gotta be a little bit step ahead placing the cross a little bit. Like even in this case, we're trying to aim towards the chancret. It's kind right. of like well, well, yeah, at that point, I tried to predict him going back out because he just shot. Yeah, there was. And then it's point. like he was—he actually dips back, so it's just a lot of missed shots. Yeah, I think like uh, here, for example, yeah, right. it's also a little bit um, complicated. Well, <clears throat> it's just about the pattern. It's not obviously all about that. It's uh, looking at their movement. Sure, it helps. I'm thinking about something else. Uh, let's think about the positioning. Yeah. So that was yeah, I could have been up there, and I think I end I did end mm -hmm. up going up the high ground, um, for sure. I think here I saw the Anna so killable, and here I'm just like I, I'm not gonna go high ground right now. I mean I could, but I the divas sort of <laughs> like we're pushing cart. You know what I mean? Yeah, but do you need to push the cart? No, no. I'm just saying like nothing. I put myself in a vulnerable position in uh -huh. front of the tank. They're gonna be behind me. I guess I could. It's to me scary, like going up there, because then everyone turns to look at me. Which maybe that's fine. I'm making a distraction yeah, for my team. I see here. That's where the timing appears. You going up there? Okay. Let's just think. First of all, why going up there is valuable. You're saying, well, Anna is so killable, but I think no, I, no, I, not I in just... this. Before that, before the Anna, like right now. To your yeah, point, yeah, I could have yeah, just gone yeah, up yeah, there. Yeah. I don't even know she's there, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. And the, the, but here, I'm like, okay, free shots on the diva while we're attacking, mm -hmm. and then I notice the Anna's out of position. And I'm like, right, okay, this is a great, you know, I I can get this Anna. So that right. now I'm just taking shots. Right. And yeah. then I see I can get the junk rat, and then I'm taking shots. But to your right. point, like I think you're right. I just go up to that high ground. It's a much better position. Yeah, if we to just shoot all these people. Looking at it, yeah, from this perspective, expecting all those Anna's junk rods to be around the space anyway. We want to make right. it easy for us to shoot. Well, going up there makes sense. And especially if we if we're saying like, oh, like suddenly you see Anna is more uh out in the open. Yeah, it still should be ideal in your case this kind of habit that make it easier for you to aim anyway like we don't tr tr want to try to shoot until we have the biggest advantage you could get right. yeah well you could maybe get the Anna from here it's possible but I think it's even easier to go here that that what I'm for sure that, that what I meant a lot of times when I'm saying it doesn't matter how many shots you land it just matters that you land 
five shots and right. you win well not five but maybe like four for example then you kill the tank after yeah but uh, right. that's what matters you don't have to land all the shots from here you could use all the time while you try trying to land those shots and set up yeah mm. right why this this is better well obviously vision and such but also range uh, whenever you're playing right. projectile character because uh, we trying to predict it's uh, definitely the skill you want to learn yeah it's pretty tough but it's easy to aim at the shorter range distances if you're playing Hanzo, if you're playing any projectile character, actually, because it becomes more like a hit scan now. Right. <laughs> There's less travel time. That's why doing that, if you're able to, is good. However, there was a problem you mentioned. What if they put attention towards me? Yeah. What if they start looking at me? All right. Then I need to peek this corner and play around that. And okay, okay. that's probably fine. Even if the diva dies me in this case, I'm probably okay because my support should be able to assist me. It's unlikely because I have this little corner here. Yeah. Or I have that that you know the little fence basically off the house. Right. So it should be okay. Right. And w w what is the main point about the time though? When you should be really active on the field. Who? When during ideally during a fight when, or when they're distracted when they're looking elsewhere. Yeah, where they should look. At the tank. Most most, most of the time, yes, we men always mention it. The tank is the one who's distracting. Even this. This is destruction. This is right. This is the pressure right. from Diva rockets. This is already dragging the attention. Um, if they're gonna split the attention while your tank is doing something, and they're gonna go after you, which makes sense, they will. But it's okay. Then it gives my tank space. Yeah, 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 exactly. Because your tank is still active, and the rest of your team is right. still active on the point. It's fine. If you're doing all this setup when rest of your team and uh, the tank yeah usually they are not active well then most likely gonna be in trouble here that's why you have to pay attention to timing yeah you yeah, just imagine sense. imagine you sneak like imagine you don't take any shot there imagine you sneak just stay wait until your diva is pressuring and really no, scouting the opportunity noticing mm -hmm. the opportunity Anna is not looking at you and then you have right and then i take shot. that shot that's just a good point one. Just one shot right. instead of ten shots there. Right, right. <laughs> exactly. Like very good point. I, I, yeah. I, will, I would even try to do that actually. Yeah, like be a little bit more sneaky. Well, obviously it doesn't make sense all the time to do that. But just you know, our main point is set up first and then shoot. I think you right. don't have to shoot right away. Right. Mm. So here, yeah, just sort of not accomplishing that sure. much. I noticed the Genji here, so now I want to protect my team, but I'm missing him. Um, mm -hmm. and then uh, hopefully I take high ground at some point. I think I eventually do. See, this, this is what I <laughs> mean. Like, that's been our little bit of a problem. Uh, right. First session as well. Yeah. Like, set up first. Take the position first. Yeah, you should should have been here in a, a while first ago. ten yeah. seconds. Yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> For sure. And here, I'm missing everything. Let's see. I remember this was very frustrating for me. Um, it's okay. And, and this is uh, hard. Yeah. This is yeah. hard to aim at. Yeah. You still yeah, can look at it like the middle me, of the pattern. It's... Yeah. What's what's about the, right. the movement? But um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So here I should probably be at that angle again. So I see my supports pushing up there. I push yeah, up there. So... I miss shots on Mercy again. Yeah. I said I'm a little frustrated now still because I haven't hit anything, and I'm really having trouble with the aim. But now our tracer starts doing really well. I remember, and in general the other you guy did pretty well. Still put pressure. Game. Sometimes you don't have to right. land a lot of so... stuff. If you're the scary position already, like the angle where you you are, you making them move, you making them use abilities like that. Mercy use her guardian angel a lot of times, for example. The right. Eva flew after you. That does pressure, but uh, it's because you're in that position, because you can actually get a lot of damage done from there, not from that position in the back, yeah, but from that angle. Right, and, you know? right, the higher ground. Yeah. yeah, here my whole team's dead, so that's fine. It's okay. Okay. When they... So, yeah, if I remember correctly, um, I thought I heard footsteps. Oh, yeah, and I did. It's this more. Um... Yeah, my whole team's doing pretty well. Okay. Yeah, Diva dies me, but well. it's fine. And I hit her, and then they kill her. And then I hit the Genji, and I think we kill him. Yeah, we do. So then here we're fine. Yeah. 
that's 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 uh that was that was a good shot see what are you doing you you see the movement you expect because of that movement you expect that anna to be uh, down there a little bit to the left aim there yeah? right i know she's running so i'm just gonna mm -hmm. be aiming at the store no matter what yeah and that is another thing as well not only looking at the movement but also understanding the car with the plane around so you make it right. easy uh, because most enemies they will jump around the corner around the cover you aim towards that cover which is which is good yeah like in that case you know the chunker is gonna go right the closest corner for him is gonna be right so your right. cross site placement should be a little bit towards this let's see this yeah is like good point for sure bit, hmm, a bit too early, <laughs> there i just sure. missed but still like yeah yeah yeah, it just really feels like you need to slow down with the shots. Yeah, uh, I like that. I agree with you. You know, sometimes I take it slow and then I just get poked out. Like I think I tunnel a little bit, but I I, I agree with you in general. I think I'm just spamming a little bit too much. But do you know the term called uh, trigger discipline? Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. So wait what, until what... I have a good shot to take it. Yeah, exactly. Well, if you're familiar with that, I usually use that a lot in the sessions too. You seeing kind of seeing all that movement i guess seeing of what they're trying to do yeah like understand their For decisions sure. and then take a shot instead of it being oh take a shot and then thing no like right right try to it, try to slow down a little bit more and then eventually you will build up the speed you will build mm. up the speed to replace your crosshair properly and everything. But for now, you can take it really slow. That's why I'm even saying you can sneak, you can wait, wait, yeah. like, make sure that shot that was good intention because there was mm. not not as good intention to me when uh, if we just go back. Yeah, like the intention is I'm shooting the junkrat, but what he's gonna move? Where is he's gonna move? Well, he's kind right. of here. Maybe he's about to move towards that cover, towards that car cover. I want to see a little bit about the pattern of the movement. Yeah, you probably expect yeah. him to move left most yeah. likely because he's close to the cover. So your crosses should be like here. So that would be bad right. intention. Mm, or here. Yeah. Right. He probably he that. probably only went right because he got hit. I mean, if he didn't get hit by anything, I bet he would have gone left. It, it would have been yeah. the, made the most sense. Yeah, exactly. But see, this is where you have that chart shot right there. If you notice there's a certain pattern. Yeah, if the junkard starts moving towards this space, you already know that maybe right. based on the information you see the uh, your uh, Widowmaker the taking a shot, maybe you are the right. members those are doing shots. So you, now you know where to what to do. Instead of it being like two or three shots, just make it one, but meaningful. Right. Yeah. So we just so there, uh, the I more. missed that. That was the pressing. Uh, that one I was like, I was ready for the end. I just really missed. Ah, oh, we had the Sonic as well. Oh, okay. I had the Sonic. Yeah, that was. I good. just missed. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was, I was really ready for that shot, and that one I, I felt like yeah. should have been a headshot. But the, but the, the attempt was... was good there. Definitely, you kind of see, you notice the pattern because you had the Sonic. I think that right. made total sense. No. And this was frustrating too because I just missed. Oh yeah, I, k I killed the Genji during nice. blade, but then I was in a really tough spot because of that blade. Um, I killed the Genji twice during blade this game, which is just like it was such a poor game for me aim wise, and that never happens for me. So it was sort of funny. Yeah. See where. So there, I really expected her to just go straight out. To be honest, I remember this, and I was like, what? "Why did she strafe left that way?" But I guess that's just how that window is, and I think uh, I I just got confused. Another part when you look in game is if you want to make it easy, like for example, you don't have a choice, you cannot be on that 90 angle because, well, even though they're strafing left and right, if you're here, you're gonna die most likely. Right. I think a little bit too isolated. What you can do is to try to place them in kind of. Um, a little bit being a little bit face to face if that makes sense we're trying to mm -hmm. yeah see their space is kind of here so if you can get on the same level it's yeah, just a little bit sense. easier that's why again yeah, and there could have survived the div bomb too most likely yeah uh, maybe not i think they place it behind me but still yeah. it would have been better it just feels like kind of this pattern go go there first go to the better position first and then right. shoot yeah right mm. Playing near the cart is also dangerous. For sure. Yeah. yeah and that actually gets us killed as well. <clears throat> Whenever the fight is going to be, the priority is always how to win the fight and push the cart second. Right. 
So here, they're all there. I see the Anna, and again, yeah. this is the same thing as before. And I start to get frustrated here. I think I actually take a crazy angle here because I'm like, these guys are. So I notice they all move behind this other cover, and I'm like, what? At this point, this is just like a little bit of raging, to be honest. I'm just missing. I'm thinking, okay, what I could have done. What a position to me. So there, out. like, I, I, she jumped. Honestly, if she hadn't jumped there, I think I would have hit her. But no luck. So again, see, our point is, uh, slow down with the shots. Don't even take the shot, but just set up for one yeah. or observe the one pattern. Two right. meaningful shots. Not only observe. Observe is the first part. Uh, the second is set up for more meaningful shots as well. What you should be right now, so it's gonna be easier. Probably for you. the top. That top left. High ground is pretty yeah, good. Pretty top right, high ground. Right. Exactly. One of the two. Yeah, so you have a little bit better vision. Now you know this pattern. Wait for this one meaningful shot. Go for it. Well, right. if it's not there, happens. If you didn't hear it, happens. But it's still better, I think, like to slow down a little bit. Get discipline a little bit more. And set up together. Yeah, observe the pattern. Set up right. as well. Yeah, so here I rage, like I said, and I just go like, okay, I'm gonna take a very extreme angle here. I'm this is kind of really better in terms of, of range. You t taking a short range fight, so it's easier for you to aim. If you're talking about purity, right. what makes it easy? You the short if you're the short range angle, it's easier, and right. it's also kind of nine was a little bit of towards ninety, so made sense. You're making it easy. Mm -hmm. So here I go up here. And the monkey dies me. I, I I like this little thing, so I jump back down here. Yeah. I'm glad I did that. I, uh, it's that not good. what I normally would have done. This yeah. is on the back of our previous conversation, actually. Yeah. This is what we wanted. I had to that do very more, much in mind. I think. Yeah. Right. And I save my lunch to jump back in. Like I'm I'm very glad I did yeah. that. <laughs> it, you All things I wouldn't have done. Entire bubble and jump. And, and mercy maybe got mercy killed, killed right? Yeah. Almost. almost yeah. Almost. Not quite. Maybe you did. Maybe you're gonna. Well, no, there's no, a lot no. of pressure. I remember this. Yeah. Stuff to kill her. So There's now, this level. is what I was talking about before. I should really get back on the high ground, but I always, after that happens, I just like default, right? I go back to like my normal autopilot <clears throat> state of mind. Yeah. Of like, oh, I let's try to land some shots. We gotta, yeah. Instead of our priority being let's land the shots, let's set up. We, let's right. prepare. The prepare, right. re preparation. I'm just gonna write it down. Preparation. We have two things. It's our position, positioning, and then observation, kind of scouting, anticipating, really. Let's do all of that first. <laughs> we gotta do all of that. Positioning, short range angle, off angle, uh, high grounds, a little bit more, yeah. High right. grounds, off angle. Observation, noticing the pattern of the movement, mostly. Mm -hmm. Timing also helps, of course, when the tank is engaging, right. but... Um, yeah, I think this should be this should be your priority list. The focus, yeah, I like that. You will notice Overwatch is more most of the time it's most of the time the aiming is more about decisions and positioning. In a way, <laughs> there have been a bunch of players who've been struggling really from CS from sometimes Apex Legends. Like they they come in the game and then they say, you know, I'm 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 really struggling to hit the shot. But then we watch the what the mechanics. Are really good, like, yeah. like top of hundred player, but yeah. their decisions and positioning just not allowing them to hit the shots properly. Right, that's why it's always the first focus. That's why when Shroud was playing this game, you know what rank he was. What do you think? <laughs> I, I don't know. I, what, what's, I mean, what's what's your what's your what's like, your take? I mean, now as you, if you told if you hadn't told me anything, I'd have guessed you am right, but. Um, given what you're saying, I'm guessing lower than that. Yeah, yeah. Like, think, Shroud is really good aimer, right? Right, But right, he never aim. practiced decisions and positioning in this game. Yeah. That's the most important. Yeah. So. <laughs> no, yeah, the other day, uh, sometimes I watch a streamer, Diego, who's amazing, from Apex, you know, top player in Apex, and he's uh, he's now doing a Hanzo and Ragged Jam. But in general, to your point, like, his aim's amazing, but he's always just playing main like this, you know? This is all he does. And okay. he gets away with it to some extent, but like he's he'll spend like days and days stuck in diamond, right? To exactly. your point. And it's like Exactly. And that's where the shroud been. He's been flat and diamond. 
In Diamond? Really? Oh, that's exactly. crazy. Exactly. I didn't expect that. That's yeah, funny. Because... Yeah, I could run into him. That's crazy. That's oh, crazy. Not... I don't think he's playing Overwatch now. Yeah, if he were playing. Yeah, he yeah, could, yeah. For sure, for sure. But that's that's no, kind of I'm not my DPS, I'm saying my other, my other roles. But yeah, yeah but, that's uh, funny though. Yeah, yeah, it's still, maybe you, you could. DPS, why, why not? But it still no, yeah, proves the so. point that all Gold. decisions is just so... Yeah, so crucial. Yeah, this this was frustrating. The Anna really dodged me. In general, I'd say this game, the Anna dodged me. Um, I ended up at an off angle here just by luck from chasing the Anna. Uh, they went for this. Oh, yeah, I remember this. It's a little, little bit annoying. So see, it only makes sense to kind of maybe default if you have a big advantage for whatever mm -hmm. reason. If there's right. a grab, in this case, Anna's dead. Advantage. There's a grab, like yeah. Yeah. So you can makes kind sense. of stay, but uh, it seems like most of the fights. We have this trouble where we we we're playing like we have an advantage, <laughs> right? But we don't. So we have to set up. We have we have to really do all these observations, go somewhere. So for example, here, you know, the real fight is about to start. Where well, where do I go? How do I make it easy for me to take shots? What about like this guy jumping? Yeah, right. Let's see what, what and here. Think? I tried to, but I, I just flick way too hard. I, I actually probably will walk back as what's tough there. Yeah. And I'm like, you know, this isn't a great duel for me. I'm just going to wait it out. I'm like, well, we got to clear this guy off high ground mm -hmm. somehow. Mm -hmm. So I'm just missing. That one was very close, but not quite. So here they have Ryan sitting there. Um, okay. Yeah, so in this situation, I'm not sure. I mean, there is a window directly top left of me, but that's not an amazing angle, I'd say. Um, I could go right and go up to this high, top right high ground where the Genji was before. Genji will almost certainly dive me up there. Um, but too close, Sam. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this this left one, I can't get there safe. Well, maybe I guess I could wall climb off this le wall on the left yeah. and then jump to the spinning thing. Yeah, exactly. I never occurred to yeah, me. Exactly. Yeah, but that's true. That's either, an okay angle because then I can jump that, back to the Genji. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Either of those positions, we should choose one of those for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe the Genji one is a little bit scary. So yeah, but to the top left, I'd be comfortable with. Left is okay because then yeah. I could jump back. The supports are gonna help me. Yeah. Like I'll be okay this unless the Genji gets a combo. Definitely. I'm okay. Definitely, this is this is a good one. Uh, you obviously another part about all this observations. We could also talk a lot about how do you look at the map look at their comp right. like expect right. the the threats to be just just scout the threats where do you expect the threats to be and based on this information now you can make a decision what to do with your abilities what to do with the cover where to put right. your crosshair because if the genji is not there well what's scary the chunk might be scary as well so yes. that is something you right. gotta uh, clear you i gotta, gotta watch out for mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay yeah the main point really yeah, going some, going somewhere. This one, yeah, I remember this. This is the other time I killed Genji. Nice, but he gets me. I mean, we lost a fight, unfortunately. It didn't end on blade, but mm -hmm. is that? Mm -hmm. All right, so here, yeah, I remember the junk rest just spamming us myself and Lari out. I killed the trap, and I was like, oh, I land the shot. Yeah, almost got him. Not quite. So here, I'm like, okay, this is a little bit scary if I remember correctly. I see the. The guy there, and I'm like, my team's sort of well behind me, so I think I end up running away. I think who, when we're fighting the Junkrat on this base, who has an advantage? I do. He's shooting up. In general, unless I get very close to him. Mm -hmm. If I get close to him, then he he has a massive advantage. No, if I have okay. Sonic, then it, I'm okay. Yeah, yeah, that's what I think. At this range, you have an advantage. With a Sonic, you have an advantage. Without it, I don't. Yeah, right. overall, it's uh, if you're gonna be right. really close, uh, then he has an advantage. So you gotta be careful. You see our setup now; it's not that um, it's not that easy for us to end the shots, but it's also easier for the enemy to kind of do things. So really focusing on thinking, okay, who has the proxy here? Maybe I can move somewhere else to help me out. Yeah. Just to. Uh, what about this position on the map? Yeah, what right, about right. me using this mid range? Yeah, first? don't don't dive the junk right in the room. I get you. Yeah, maybe it can be using somebody to distract, just get them out. But yeah, be careful for sure. Right. I think the so here, I have the Sonic now, yeah, so, so I feel it's, better. It's better. Yeah. And then he runs away. 
And then I use that because I see my tanks there. So I'm like, okay, this should be a winnable fight for us. The tank's a little bit out of, out of position. I'm in a good spot. Mm -hmm. So that's okay for me. And then I Sonic up there to force a Genji out. Yeah, but then I died a tire. That's right. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I missed that shot. That was that was frustrating, but it's okay. Not that shot as well. Let me see. I was close. I was, was close. Very one. close to that shot. I thought. So this one. Ah, uh huh. Yeah. So just right, before. we actually yeah we attempted to. It's a. We could also say I really do expect the tire to be anticipating where the tire can For go. For sure. It can be two directions. So if you're looking here. Or if you look right. in there, all those spots right. make sense to me. You cannot three really right. know. Um, obviously, based on the sound, if you yeah, I'd have spot... to I'd have to back up really. What would have been the right thing is just to yeah, back up a little yeah. bit. In general, I think Hanzo probably has the easiest time killing Tower of every character, any character in the game. So, so I feel like it's usually my job. Off, it connects us with the setup. Yeah, you land in a shot. It's not only about the observations; it's also where you're gonna be. So you make it easy. Right. Know? So here I go up, finally. Yeah, you're making it easy for you because the setup. It's a shorter right. range and... off angle. Now you go back. Yeah, you go yeah there I go in because I saw the Mercy went in and I was like, okay, this is going to be a very easy yeah. kill if I do this. Now it makes then... sense to be here sort of because you have an advantage, but then like now, what about now? The fight No, is right, so I actually start. do go up. I do go up. Okay. I, see? Hey, I got <laughs> that G-Fest in my head, in my head, and, uh, and I do end go, up going up. Yeah, I know I drop. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> it's just an easier shot. No, for sure. They're making it so I'm much safer harder. Up there. Just imagine I know. you hear, you do the same yeah, sonic, sure. and you have the sidelines on all these guys. For sure. Uh, seems no need like to drop. Just got to do that like, constant thinking. Yeah, slow it down, really. Like, right. Set up better No shots. need to drop. Mm -hmm. Just like, Preparation. careful. Uh, yeah, exactly. exactly. Maybe we'll do a game yeah. of that even. Okay, so that was more yeah, like that. strafing. Uh, that one was less, yeah, that was more pos positioning, I'd say. Yeah, The strafing yeah, yeah. one Stupid. happened, when did that happen? Maybe yeah, that was, oh no, that was actually the Midtown game before that. Uh, let's um, like let's two see games those, before. just a real quick, yeah, and then yeah. we can do a game. I probably expect the same well, pattern, but... Uh, although, if you go forward, I do think against the Solari, I had trouble with the strafing. But here, I can send you the Midtown one. That yeah. one was more frustrating in some ways. Just feel like... A view replay by mistake. Like this. Mm-hmm. This feels like we're noticing the same pattern. Probably, yeah. Right. I agree with that. Share. So I remember this was especially second point. I want to say second point attack is where I struggled the most with mm. the strafing here. But it happened generally. <laughs> this is a midtown game. And you had one more, right? What was that game about? Yeah, that was the Sombra Dive one. But I, I would like to get some games in, because I, I really enjoy yeah, playing yeah, yeah. with the, you, uh, go no, to no, me in the back. Do it's that. really yeah, fun. I'm just trying to see, mm -hmm. so it's the most effective. No, yeah, yeah, I appreciate that. And I would like to get some advice on this in general. Okay, so, so attack was more... Actually, there, even there, actually, that it, where you were, that was a good spot. Because yeah. they, they have the soldier, yeah, they have the yeah. soldier in that window. And I remember this is just a theme that would happen throughout this game. Is so I sonic the window because I, I I like that sonic class because I see both right. So I see where they're going on both ends. And then I'm trying to shoot a soldier, and this just will continue the entire time. I think I land one shot out of out of him out of like eight, and it's a body shot, unfortunately. Okay, let's get a little bit closer. Yeah, that's what I mean. But I'm just waiting first. Okay, and notice the soldier. Pattern of the mm -hmm. movement, left, right. So the pattern looks kind of this. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's where it ends up. But we aim towards this. Mm. No, that's that was a that was, was a May ice pattern. ice. That was a oh, May was, ice oh, thing. Was yeah, I didn't I didn't aim there. Yeah. Here's that that's a May shooting from the aim, side uh, there. Let me see. But I I let's, do start shooting like we start shooting around now. Here. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so, so towards here. So there, to your point, no trigger discipline, right? This is the first time I see him. I have no idea what his pattern is. Yeah, that's I just what shoot I think. Where, yeah, that's what I is. think. You see, and then you shoot right away. Yeah, let's see, right. observe, and then shoot. Yeah, prepare. Right. Yeah, let's do it this way. Mm. Yeah, it's it's pretty common issue. It's really a lot of players like 
someone off their cooldowns shooting right away especially when you have big capability to do a lot of stuff like you have ananate for example a lot of Ana mm -hmm. anas they just saw the nade but they, they could be being a little bit more patient maybe it's not as necessary to be patient uh mm -hmm. just you could be throwing that early nade sure like top of founder player would do that but they do that because they notice all the patterns they're already good at all identifying all of that i guess uh, it's right. just like Doing any sport. There's a lot of other considerations you're saying. Yeah, a, a, lo a lot of, you know, a lot of coaches, they'll always tell you, okay, you go in the gym, you're trying to lift something. You're always trying to do it slow and good. They have good techniques and everything. <laughs> it's the right. same thing here. Right. Like a football, they, they will not tell you, do all these exercises really fast. Yeah. So it feels like, mm -hmm, feels like the same thing. Yeah, really the same. Okay. Uh. Yeah, what about here? Another struggle. Yeah, this part. Yeah, this is a. I'm at a good angle. I'm just not not hitting shots. Yeah, so so sort of right. Yeah, we have the... there. I hit some, and that was okay, but not you know not doing that much. Yeah, this game I threw at the end. I remember that was sort of frustrating. Um. But... Yeah, the the attempts. Yeah, they, uh, all those attempts make sense. Yeah, you kind of see. Okay. Right, I'm so close. I'm yeah. so close. I'm aiming in front of them. I'm just missing. Right, I'm missing. I miss just a lot on this. Comes with practice. Yeah, the attempts yeah, there sure. are good. What about the attack? So second, yeah, like I said, second point attack. I remember was another point where the soldiers just strafing against me. <laughs> that was tough. Frustrating. Um, actually, do we even take? No, no, we don't get beyond the first one. Sorry, se second point defense. Second point defense. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. Second point defense. So it's uh, gonna be around here. Yeah, that's probably about right. Okay. Uh, right after. <clears throat> right, yeah. So I go all the way back. I remember, and this is where, basically, I remember I'm sitting main uh, in that gate to the third point. And I'm just shooting at the soldier. Soldier immediately takes high ground. Um, he knows. And he just ends up stra strafing. Yeah, he's, he's playing well. <laughs> the soldier in general, is, I thought, played this game really well. And um, he's just strafing against me while killing my whole team. And I'm missing every shot on him, and it's very frustrating. Even here, see what I mean? You go for a necessary uh -huh. shot right there. Right. Like if you know the soldier's there, because the mercy is getting pressure to him. Oh, yeah, I should have. Yeah. Mm. At this point, I'm not sure. Yeah. See, you're taking the shot, yeah. but that shot could have could, could been, been on, on the, the soldier. soldier. For sure. You see for the sure. same pattern again. <laughs> right. We just want to slow down a little bit. Yeah. Right okay, here. What about uh, easy? Yeah. So this is one of those. So at this point, I'm mostly running because I'm out of position because the soldier's got high ground. So I get back and I barely make it away, if I remember correctly. After I get poked out, yeah. Uh, Ball sort of miss, messes up. I'd say he sh should have come. Yeah. The... And here, I don't know why I'm repeeking, but thankfully I do get help. And here, as this is just like endless me just getting destroyed. Okay. What? matters uh what influences you aim more is it that you're not observing the movement correctly or your position let's, um, let's watch, let's oof, watch uh, probably talking. a mix of the two probably a mix of the two so here it's not uh, ah that felt so right that one isn't great that one was good but you know not high enough to get a headshot mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's probably a mix to me it felt like the position could have been so where would you have i mean bottom right is scary and it's not scary well he can just see me direct he's just gonna shoot me there which maybe that's better but it's he's direct yeah, here he's how... actually he's not strafing against me right he's strafing against whatever someone else remember how we mentioned that you're trying to put an enemy on the same kind of level mm -hmm. okay that's where the wall climbing comes in See, yeah, but you're you... saying here, this one in front of me? Can I stand on that? No, no. Uh, what, you can wall climb and shoot. A wall climb up there? You think that's easier than... That seems... Then I, I get off and then I try to hit the flick. That seems almost harder to me. Mm, you're right, it's yeah, more likely it might, to be a headshot. It might be. Yeah, it might be. But that's kind of connects us to the point of I'm taking one meaningful shot, I'm training that, and actually if you're on the same level here, wall climbing, mm -hmm. you're putting him on the same level as you it's easier for you to do yeah, that the headshot's definitely shot. way more easy 
then like where i'm shooting from below it's always going to be a yes shot, right? exactly but that's what we're aiming for you see hot shot is more meaningful right. we're aiming for right. meaningful shots now we're making it easy for us that's why you see a lot of hunters like especially maybe you watch our gay he does wall climbing a lot but this right. is one more point why this is important as well to like break it down uh, a lot of good players what they will try to do they will use cover to help them to keep their hitbox hidden so there's only had seen mm -hmm. here so mm -hmm. because you want to expose them a little bit more whenever they see mm -hmm. you they'll try to hide they will hide their head and then they find they're trying to basically right. put uh their right mm, so how to yeah the only thing they can see is like my body but basically i can't see anything because they're high ground yeah exactly except exactly, for their head. exactly yeah. exactly that's what you will see against good good players as well i started doing that with for especially uh first point defense on um oh my god what's that map where you always take high ground there's so many but basically i started doing what you mentioned basically the top the high corner high ground corner where you go backwards and then you only isolate the single target that's been really good mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah what you mentioned i think two sessions ago yeah that's good yeah 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 really like even wall climb it uh, can be helpful because see if you're on low ground the soldier notices you you're just gonna back off and then you can take a shot but if you hear because right. you're on the same level even though he's right. gonna go back you still can hit that's right. what we're aiming for yeah, really Makes it sense. might seem hard at the start but again take it slow don't shoot right mm -hmm. away uh do all the stuff preparations and then shoot if you do that repeat that 1000 times and um, yeah you're gonna hit the shot <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah. Okay, and there he's game. not strafing against me, so it's actually not that bad. Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly. It. Yeah. Let's do a game. Let's see. All right. Let me screen share. Okay. Well, well the main point is preparation, but it consists out of a lot of things. What was the Yeah. Biggest... I think so, so far, my takeaway is actually continuing to go back to the high ground, not just at the start, but also um, afterwards, right? Like, don't drop. I could keep dropping because I get I get hungry for a kill, and there's no yeah. need a lot of times. Let's let's focus on uh, because there are a lot of rivals. So just gonna focus on one, uh, getting the best position we can. So setting mm -hmm. up setting up on short range of angles. And mostly, short range. Yeah, short. Yeah, let's do it kind of Shorter, short to me. Yeah. yeah, short to me. Yeah, because there's sense. a tendency we taking a little bit too long for no reason. Yeah. So um yeah. Short to okay. mid, and usually the off angle is gonna be uh, some sort of high ground for us as well. So, makes can, sense. We can do that. Okay, yeah. so. Yeah. To your point, we can uh, practice uh, <laughs> these uh, impossible shots. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm with my 4.0 4 uh, sense, it's going to be tough. Well, here but... you're not on the same level. Is, uh, actually. Right, right, right. So, well, I'm going this? for the echo, to your point. Yeah, you can go after Mercy or echo right. if you're trying to practice this. Or, yeah. why practicing this makes sense if they dive you when you're prioritizing the move right. you're trying to dodge. Yeah, for sure. In that case, they'll be below, mm -hmm. right? They'd be yeah. like lower yeah, down the there. The tracer would be down there, for example. Yeah, going up. Right. Here, so you do quick wall climb and try to shoot. Right. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Yeah, unlikely to go for like the Anna who's scoping in exactly. this way, right? Yeah. Game. Mm. Yeah. So the the Hanzo is nice because he does these jumping things, so I can practice that. But and every once in a while he does his uh. I feel like I spent so much time trying to shoot this freaking Farabot at this point. <laughs> I think Farah is just used to be the most irritating character for me. Now I don't mind her at all. Mm -hmm. so much. That's oh. nice. Yeah, it, yeah it, that feels good. Man. But now it's like somber and stuff. I mean, a good Farah is always a threat. It doesn't matter. But now at least I can do damage to her. Mm hmm. Yeah, so and, and even doing this, right? Like, the, the another thing we took a position so, con and we want to keep controlling that position, kind of retake the right. angle. Mm -hmm. If we're getting forced yeah. out or whatever, like we dropped, usually try to retake the angle, keep keep them, keep fighting. Yeah, so this is uh, the jumping stuff that I have trouble with. I always think they move further, to be honest, than they do. Like, I'll hit it up close, but far mm -hmm. away. 
it seems really tough. Yeah, far away is definitely harder. That's why you, you compare to other snipers, you're a little bit shorter range sniper. Right. <clears throat> because of your travel time. Yeah. Yeah, versus like an Ash or a mm. Widow, you're saying. Yeah, right. yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. Yeah. yeah it, it is funny how the bots who uh, sort of don't move in straight lines are harder. Um, <laughs> you know, like, it, it's like the Kiriko, I feel like, is always the trickiest, not just because her hitbox is crazy. Yeah. Because she, uh, she's, she's, she's always looking at the other people. So, like, she'll do these. And, but this is good practice. This is exactly the kind of shot that I was telling you I struggle with. Is this back and forth where they're like uh, doing like this, and I'm like yeah. this the, the movement pattern is just not there for me, so I like try to take my shot and oftentimes just miss. Yeah, you know? well, it's definitely a harder one, but yeah, still. But kind to your of... point, it's a it's it's very it's also so valuable, right? If I do yeah. hit that shot, yeah, it just yeah, wins yeah, the game. It's, yeah, we trying to aim for those as much as possible instead of seeing and shooting, we seeing, observing, and then shooting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's yeah, so yeah, down with the out. pressure. That's just even though you're not gonna have a lot of damage, it's okay. Yeah, just so down, do all the preparations now. We're right. just gonna set up a door. Oh yeah, that's things. always the other thing is uh I gotta I'll I'll like squelch my chats if I'm just taking very slow shots and doing no damage to the tank. I have like two hundred damage, zero limbs. Everyone is like, Hanzo, please swap. Hanzo, what are you doing? Yeah, well, if Just the chat ignore. is affecting you, you can uh, mute the I chat. I usually do turn yeah. it off. If, if if I'm having a bad game, I'll turn it off preemptively, and that's fine. Okay. It's fine. I, I, they used to bother me a lot more, honestly, before our sessions, ah, and then coming. I've been focused on the mental, and it's been good. <laughs> I, don't, nice. I don't let it bother me that much. Okay, let's see. I feel like any one trick, like you're gonna deal with so much. Even now, you can anticipate where you can position, yeah. So what is right. that short vertical kind of thing? Right. So most likely something like this, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. Take this, this that, angle right here. Yeah. Yep. Maybe shorter, I. Shorter one. Oops, shorter. I messed even, that up. Even shorter. Shorter. One. shorter. The, okay. What about the left side balcony? Oh, okay. Well, that oh, can oh. also work. Yeah. Let's try this out. Sure. Why not? <laughs> Might seem a little bit too short, but it's okay. Yeah, that's fair. So left side balcony is what? Yeah, this thing? I, like the I, lighthouse? That's, that's what That's what you can aim for, like where you are first, and then later you can move towards the point, or you can move Whoops. towards their high ground. Depends. Right, I see. Mm -hmm. I see what you're saying. So, yeah. are we down? Oh, sorry. I thought we were like, that's we okay. lost a fight entirely. That's okay. Right, so that's a shot that... Here. Oh, so to your was... point... You go take high ground, right? Yes, yes, yes. Keep in mind your team is dead, so your timing. I know. Gotta be They're gonna try to push me almost certainly. Mm -hmm. So let me just be a little bit careful here. Ah, man, Once that your tree. Team is there, you set up right away. So now your team is so gonna go. To your go. point, like, set, so they're strafing up. against me, right? So shorter, here. Shorter, shorter angle. Okay, don't, don't got shoot, it. Shoot, shorter angle. Set yep, up yep. shorter and then shoot. Right. So I drop here. Ah. Mm-hmm. What? So here... Take, take short and uh, go up somewhere. Like, see those positions where you could go up. Yeah, like, okay, this kind of work too. This side. Sorry. That's okay. Yeah, if she's distracted like that, that was good at them, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Those balconies, wow. no that's where that's where you okay. play in at the start, I think, most this of the time. This guy's talking to me, but I don't know what he's saying. Um, what'd you say? Those balconies, like that balcony which yeah, I've been where it was about, there. It was a little bit to the left, yeah. That That is usually the one you want to kind of start. Like this one? Or the one I started, you're saying? Yeah, yeah. So you go here and a little yep. bit to the left. Yeah, that's your balcony. Right, so they have, a, they have a Sonic on me. Mm -hmm. they do and they have someone up here at high ground. Yeah. Okay, we got rid of him. Take the position so, back. Ah, oh, nice shot. Yeah. That's bad. That's okay. Ah, that was a good shot. There it. Whoop! Oh my god, thank god I didn't have my ult there. I would have just used it. Oh, we, we lose anyway. Whatever. Tough let's one. uh let's do it this way we'll find one yeah. valuable position the most valuable position for you again it's yeah, kind of so. a little bit shorter range but being somewhere like up yeah see why that balcony was valuable to us 
because uh -huh. balcony gets us a little bit closer to pressure an enemy like it's a close range angle at the start usually and it's also hard right. guns so you have more vision yeah so let's do it this way you set up on those positions and you yeah. keep that position you just stay there and use that leverage that as Got much it. as possible until Got you Got it. So don't the... don't drop. Just stay like that left balcony let's to your try. point. Just, yeah, just let's sit try there. To do that more. Okay. Yeah, let's... So in this map, this is what root no, this is a well. So mm -hmm. that position is tough for I mean, there's not really a high ground here. There's right side. I could just take that right side angle. You can try. I'm not sure. Yeah, try. Try this out. Okay. Let's you, try. You also have the left side yeah. to take, but just try try this. Yeah, left out. side's yeah. short range is my only issue. Mm -hmm. Right side's like more long range. Just see so how here. is that gonna work. But set up so... first, see, observe, yep. and then shoot. Okay, so I'll just stay here. Yeah, ah, yeah. see, that so was, this is a kind of that, shot. That's that fine. I... The attempt is better. Yeah, you're not shooting right away. You, right. You're taking your time. Right. So let me go back there. Oh, so the soldier is just watching. Oh, bad lunge. I should have died there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good patience with the storm arrows. Just be careful your team is dead. So you have yep, to. Yep, my whole team's dead. Back a little. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay, I'm not going to hit that. So they're just playing that angle as well. And so now, I can now contest the soldier. Mm hmm. Yeah, you can try. Got nice. him. Yeah. Thanks. Just a little bit more time. So here. It take take your time. Set up. Set up so right. it's easier. Yeah. Make sure right. you notice in the pattern. Oh. <laughs> oh, I got lucky. Oh, nice. Very lucky. Yeah. But my issue is usually when I'm taking my time, I'm like, I stay in posi out at, out in the open for so long. And yeah, I so die. It's that that is gonna mean for us taking the time. Yeah, like we're gonna build two separate habits. Not only noticing the pattern, but also moving to the better position. Like with cover and such. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what you're gonna be doing. But now just focus makes on sense. position, I think. Focus on right, position. Right, so makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah. Preparation, okay. focus on position. So oh. we're up mm -hmm. there. So as far as alts they're gonna have Kiriko and Nano, not really that relevant to me. Mm -hmm. And full hog, obviously. So he's probably wants that. That's fine. That's always we're gonna be asking ourselves: Are we at the best position? Okay, can we right. be a little bit better spots so it's easier right. to aim? What about you go after this kid? Yeah, exactly. You go up. Yeah, this Ooh, is easier. I missed. Mm -hmm. And slow down. With, nice. all, with all the stuff, you slow down. Yep. Mm -hmm. They're low. I hear hog over here. Soldier. I expect her. Ah, too early. We'll have pretty good position. Just slow down. Anna. The and nope. Good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice. They're coming out this way. Keep the position. Take and keep it. Uh, unless, well, okay, that was good kill, I guess. Ah, uh, they. I'm dead. 100% dead. I think you can survive. Unless Anna just ran, kept going, huh? Yeah. Oh. Okay, whatever. Oops. To, to your point, take my time on the shot. Mm -hmm. There's no reason for me to go to it slowly. Nice. Okay, yeah, to your point. Mm -hmm. So, I think I can keep on playing close. My whole team's very close. They have a Kiriko. Oop! Did not realize. Ah. Thanks. Okay, that's fine. Nice. Mm -hmm. So see, I think uh, if you know you can get a kill when you're giving up right. the angle, I think that is good reason. If not, or then stay. Then don't. I, right. Then don't. Yeah, if, because if you. Yeah, knew, even there with a mortar, I could have stayed high ground and shot her. Yeah, why, like I didn't why, need to drop. Why I don't think it was the best because you know there are certain abilities like fade, like. Mm -hmm. uh, even ooh. right i got lucky she had no cooldowns and she chose right. to try to fight me yeah it's just if you know she has no cooldowns then it makes sense to me if you don't then you yes. should assume that well you don't have that advantage yet we don't want to give up our valuable position which allows us to generate advantage yet you can right. just generate it stay there mm -hmm. makes sense Keep control. so here this one i feel like I, this is a very aggressive angle but it's powerful take this it, one man. take it Alright, let's try it. 
So mm. Sonic there. You can stand maximum. that pillar as well, close to the point. So it's oh yeah, a short I like angle. that. I headshot her, but I'm yeah. didn't charge enough. Yeah. See, this is a short what? angle. This is still <laughs> fine. Yeah, that can happen. Uh, okay. Whoops. Oh, but this is a little bit short angle to me, so it feels better. Right. So to your point, so I'm trying to watch the strafe. Oh. Yep. Whoop. Generated okay, whatever. I mean, that's if she wants to chase me, she can chase me all day. This is horrible for her team. Oh, I missed. Make sure you're set up. No. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay, your team is gonna fight in the gate. Set up to fight there. Right. Go so closer. yeah, let's get closer. Good call. Okay. This is good. Why not? Yeah, I like this. Mm. Missing okay. everything though. This is still good. You have a lot of chances to hit. You forced out two abilities yep. <laughs> from Alari. Yeah. And Although that I is good. You don't everything. have to get kills. You force right. out good abilities. Point. Good point. You have good position to force out things. It's that's the main point. Oops. Careful being too short, but yep. uh, yeah, just just keep in mind the uh, short range threats. What? What? Ah, you're right. I'm sorry. That's okay. <laughs> I, I was shocked I was missing this junk right. Yeah, I guess you were a little frustrated. Was, you, you, you know, you could get a kill, so you dropped, I think. Made some, yeah, uh, but it was, uh, I mean, in the middle, their entire team. Mm. And there I yeah, missed it's, everything. Wait, it's there we go. Yeah. To your point, just have to take those chances to hit. Slow down. The Come on, no, Anna, what are you doing? <laughs> Mm. So to your point. Oh no, I should have hit that. Yes. Nice. Well, I don't think they're gonna touch. It seems like Zarya. Man, I'm gonna just keep fighting this Zarya, right? Yeah, you can get a kill. Ah, I missed. Over there. Oh, she. No. Nope. Well. <laughs> <laughs> That's alright. I messed that up. It's a bit of a throw. Yeah, uh, it's I should have dropped there. That's shouldn't so have cool. dropped there. Yeah, it's just as soon as you notice she got an advantage for whatever reason because of the HP back. Right? Exactly, yeah. She had a lot more HP so, than I expected there thing, and I didn't back up. Similar to I more, just kept right? going for it. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Exactly. And also a bit of tunnel vision on her. No. I'm so dead. Oh, almost. Yes. Nice. Thanks. Now focus on the next fight, seeing uh, what is the most viable right. angle to take. Probably the pillars closer to the point. Again, that's yeah, something makes you want to aim for. So our hog just died, so we're going to be down a little bit. They yeah. might... No, they're not going to have barrage for a little while, but they probably do have post bomb. Um, this is a good position to start. Why not? Oops. There it is. Mm. Set up first. Set up first. You need short angle. Oh, that was so close. Up. You're right. I do. Oh, scary. Go in the position. Don't shoot. Go in the position. Good call. Yep. Mm -hmm. Better. You have the pillar in front of you as well. Slightly better, yep. maybe. Whoops. Oops. Go back in the position. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, come on. Bad. Anna's a little bit far. Get closer. Yeah. If you, you think so. Well, if, right. if she's, if she would be staying there too far, I think you probably want to mm. get close. If not, then yeah, you. Yeah, that's interesting. It's, I wouldn't have done that, but I, I agree with you. That's a really hard shot in general. Yeah, okay. that's, that's what I'm saying. That's you constantly gotta yeah, keep that you're, in you're your totally head. Right. Like the first is about your setup, 
what are you doing with all of this information like short range off angle short range off angle constantly yeah like right write right. it down somewhere have the sticky notes no, right I need, exactly yeah i got a little whiteboard here for work <laughs> here i'll just put it here yeah yeah uh, hopefully my, my work camera doesn't show this <laughs> yeah but y you can use this kind of same same thing we've been talking about like interview practice writing down xyz what are you working on axis maybe yeah. you take in short range off angle why it can be something else z can be something else you swap in between the concepts every round of every game but you keep practicing and then eventually like you see the results yeah because yeah what it felt like we had kind of three layers two main ones are about our decisions observation second one is position third one was a little bit about time we mentioned the tank but yeah it's right. uh not the most important one and that was other layers obviously but we can look at yeah we can look at those later if we need mm. let me see no Discuss... that makes sense Th that was helpful i mm -hmm. like a lot mm -hmm. Yeah, we've been not discussing tempo, for example. I think we didn't talk about tempo with you, right? Yeah, just tempo of the fight. That's something we can discuss later, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we can go with that later. Okay, what else? I see that we have sod model on the list as well. Uh, did we? Hmm. I don't think we discussed it. Mm, sod model. Yeah, because you mentioned something there was yeah there was something about mentality but you now you i feel like, like my mentality's gotten a lot better yeah, in yeah. general mm -hmm. yeah i feel i feel much more com comfortable like just playing more right and mm -hmm. i don't know I, eventually you build some mental resilience you know after everyone flaming constantly <laughs> enough chat mutes and i get uh yeah that I helps okay. that helps for sure too yeah you're getting used to all that pressure okay Oh, let's right. just look at this game a little bit then, and we can summarize. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is good. This is actually a game I probably, I think I would have lost without you. <laughs> oh no, you left. Oh no. Oh no. Join back. <laughs> just love the channel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I hit the, the That's disconnect. fine. Yeah, I think I would have lost it without you coaching me, which to me is helpful because it helps me see exactly the difference between my default, you know, mm -hmm. and the value of taking that angle. Yeah, exactly. Getting back to set up, you know. Exactly, exactly. Send me the code and we're going to go over this one. Cool. Oh, yeah, sorry. And the, uh, you know, you notice the first round we had a little bit of difficulties still, yeah. But then we kind of right. picked up all of this. Setup yeah, I think pattern. what you mentioned made sense. It's like hold that angle, right? <laughs> so, and uh, and everyone ended up coming ended up coming over to me, and I just run away. It's fine, right? And then come back and run away and come back. And and to your point, that generates a lot of pressure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sorry, while you're loading, I'm just going to use the restroom real quick. Yep. Two seconds. Get back. Yeah, back. you're back. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I'm, I'm sure. I'm seeing stream? your stream. Okay. So this this is what I meant. 
you instead of us taking the sh uh shooting right away well obviously maybe you was looking for pattern that makes sense if you're practicing the habit of i'm looking for pattern i'm looking at all this movement yeah from this perspective it makes sense from positional perspective it doesn't uh -huh. make as much sense to be here yeah we want right to set up right. a better spot so where it should be right away yeah that left structure. balcony i see what you mean by the yeah. left balcony for sure yeah. that, like it here... opens up the map a lot more my angle there is very limited in that bridge and right it's a shorter one too yeah, remember sure as well. something we discussed. Yeah, this is the shorter. You could actually play there as well. It's possible. Yeah, you slide off, but it's a good spot. I agree with you. you I actually do like that spot here. in general. Right there. You yeah. slide slowly. Oh, you can stand there. Yeah, yeah, you can stand there. Oh, nice. Yeah. You, if you go yeah, above, that's a good spot actually. You can, if you're going above this, you're gonna slide right. towards this, for example. <laughs> right, uh, which can be and, scary, but good. Yeah, but it's possible. It's possible to stay here if you want shorter range angle of your fight in the balcony. Really nice one. Why not? Uh, this also gets you to short range, but usually when the fight is developing, you see where the enemy is uh, moving, depending on the situation, you might use this position as well. But usually those two are... That is something you want to start right. with first. Balcony is kind of the first one to go to, probably. Yeah. And then right. you choose where do you go? Where, are you going towards the right? Are you going towards the left? This is what I mean. You're shooting right away. Yeah? I mean, want to mm -hmm. take, take a little bit more time and set up. This can work. Yeah. This is just uh, it requires a really, really good timing of uh, right. of the shot. It's so still, it's still nice, I think. Like, you can try this. Because... Right. And the Hondo missed everything, thankfully. Mm -hmm. So I was in an okay spot. Mm -hmm. Maybe I could have stayed there. But now I took balcony. I could just break this pillar instead of jumping like crazy. Yeah, it's just unfortunately the <laughs> your team team is. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. The whole team's dead. And another thing you see, like how we give out the position, but do we need to? Yeah. Uh, we, mm. Did we generate? Yeah, I didn't get pushed out. No one was shooting at me. To yeah. your point, right? Yeah, like. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can just hold that. Exactly. We holding, choosing to hold that certain position to generate more pressure. Sometimes you have mm. to swap. To different position, yeah, you have to go mm -hmm. to another position. Right, and the next, another, like in ruins, right, where we were pushing forward because our team was forward. Yeah. Even though it seemed like we were in a good spot. Yeah. Let's say, let's say, the entire enemy team is. I don't know. I'm trying to think. Hiding in the right building, maybe hiding. Let's say they are hiding around this cover, and they are hiding around this piece of cover. Right. Where you can move. Then on top of the lighthouse. Yeah, see, exactly. But see, this is kind of us going from one off angle to another. It's not going from off angle to... Uh, main, to, right. To main or, yeah, just those uh, riskier positions where it's, you don't have as much uh, vision. It's always kind of A to B. You can move to another right. position, but it should be generating value. Generate the pressure, right. kind of... Go in a position, keep control on the position. Yeah. Makes sense. You can swap between the positions, but yeah. On the on the dropping, like doing this stuff if we know we can get a kill. Sure. Like now we here we're generating pressure. Can you generate pressure totally? You can generate pressure on the high ground. You just have to keep in mind your team is coming back here. Yeah, so you want right. a little bit back that that's okay. Right, yeah, I missed Sonic on that tree. Then now your team is back, they're about to go. Invest right, now I can take the up. yeah the high ground again. Yeah, you right, could right. go the, right there on the balcony, yeah? Or here yeah. on this sludge. Yeah, yeah. It was yeah. to your point, amazing. like this angle is both far away and it's it's like, <laughs> I don't have that much visibility, right? <laughs> exactly. I can't see very much. Exactly, exactly. And with this map, we started doing better, you notice, the shorter range angle. Right, this is when you told me, like, let's just hold an angle and I did end up going back there and to your point it's a shorter range and here i had the soldier contesting me so yeah. it wasn't a free angle necessarily right yeah that's okay you can f you, yeah. you fight with angles oh by the way something you can keep in mind you can stay here and then right right you can go there if you want if you want to so yeah that's surgeon. a much better way to assault that angle just gotta be careful with this though but that is good point good yeah very good point yeah yeah the anna <laughs> loves me taking that angle that's that's very fair. yeah so just be careful with, with that but for sure just something to know about this map. yeah so that was a terrible launch i should have died there to be honest I, 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 but whatever these mm. guys are not that good so okay yeah I, li I like the patience with the storm arrows though that's kind of a main point just slow it down mm -hmm. and do all of that pressure <clears throat> makes sense okay 
I see we're setting Here up, we going up. Out, I got health. Yeah. You got better position, Good. and then you can go and fight with, for an out of valuable position. Right Once there, she it. stood in my spot with the Sonic, so that was sort of see, silly. This, but this is what I mean. Like, thankfully, I landed it. You got this. Now set up to do the shots on this guy as well. Mm, you right. Don't, yeah, you probably you fight with mm -hmm. an angle. You you got the angle. Well, what about just take the angle? Yeah, like try yeah, to, for sure. Yeah. Like take right. take the angle, control the angle constantly. You're about to take this fight with the angle. Well, it's a good we point. You can go there first. Yeah, go towards that. Uh, right. There's no need for me to be shooting at Roadhog or taking this shots that are yeah, really hard. Yeah, exactly. Right. Like these shots are super hard. Yeah. I got lucky there and saved. I remember. Don't have to invest the time to do the shots like that. Yeah, and there I'm in a risky position. Everyone's looking at me. I'm right next to the tank. To your mm -hmm. point, like. Right, and I and I won the fight. I I can take space. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a really good point. I mean, that completely changes the course of the fight if I don't get picked there. If I take a good angle, yeah. right? Yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. But it's constantly gonna be take off angle, trying to control that fight with the enemy. Usually, you're gonna be uh, see like that Kiriko, for example. You are gonna get. Pressure the skier off. Now, once the angle is cleared, clear the angle, take it, and use it. Yeah, mm -hmm. clear angle, take it, use it. Simply. Right. Mm -hmm. Now clear. You're gonna clear now. You, you take it, yeah, it's and good. then you yeah, use it. Fine. Now you use it right. to generate an advantage. Right. Yeah, and there are hogs out there on his own. I remember I heard the more footsteps. At some point here, but it shouldn't have dropped necessarily. Oh no, yeah, this is where I'm just keep missing my sonic shots. I saw better you generating enough pressure. You, I don't think you can do anything else with your position. Well, you you could do some micro readjustments if you like with wall climb sometimes, but mm -hmm. that's fair. Uh, yeah, like see, yeah, so I heard the Anna, and, like, and to your point, no need to drop. Like I could shoot yeah. her from the high ground. That's way stronger. Yeah, exactly. It's just I mean, my concern yeah. is that if she has fade and all this orbs, mm -hmm. it's uh, not for sure fast. Yeah, you yeah. Wanna... She played it poorly, so she mm -hmm. lost. But it could have gone the other way. Yeah. And I landed that shot, which is sort of lucky, a little bit lucky. Like that was a flick at the end of the day. Okay. Yeah, I'm thinking for the most part that was it. We can kind of summarize all of the all yeah. of our what I mentioned today. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you tell me what you got out of today. Yeah, I think, it's your point, like, more focus on taking off angles. I think holding the off angles and continually recontesting re them while being conscious of obviously where my team is and where, when I'm out of position. But I think I'm getting a lot better about that. Mm -hmm. um, but generally, like, aim is, like you said, a function of both prediction and uh, positioning. And uh, the positioning is in some ways easier to fix, right? Like, <laughs> I can just... It's, a, it's more of an intellectual mm -hmm. thing, so I could probably just go for that. So I think I'm going to try to focus on that a lot more than anything else. Sure, yeah, you, it can be your one, you know, X, whatever. You can mm -hmm. do, do it this yeah. way. Okay, so yeah. taking valuable angles, valuable off angles, it's got to be... What are, what are those for us exactly? What are we aimed for today? The, uh, the, I have here outlined short range off angle. Yeah. So generally, I, especially since I'm Hanzo, it's going to try to prioritize getting height because it's very free for me. And short to mid range, I don't want to be, like if they're going Hanzo, or sorry, if they're going like Reaper, Genji, I got to be a little bit careful with going too short. But I want to try to be generally at a range where I can get a somewhat predictable shot and I'm not just spamming into the abyss, right? Yeah, for us there was a tendency we've been playing a little bit too far, yeah. So right, be and also the other there. thing was mm -hmm. shot a little bit more trigger discipline, right? Patience on my shots, mm -hmm. try to figure out their patterns. I might not be hitting the shots now, but if I just keep practicing and actually observing rather than just spamming every time I see a red outline, um, hopefully I'll get a little bit tighter, right? Right, right, right. So it's kind of mechanics perspective as well what was important a slow down with shots yeah it's a triggered discipline mm -hmm. and yeah. what about decisions so we mentioned we gotta anticipate something we gotta look at what when you seen the enemy yeah and try to figure out their patterns so mm -hmm. 
sort of take a little bit to observe, especially if they if they're not looking at me, mm -hmm. if they're not aiming at me, and um, try to position my. It's a little bit like the trigger this one, right? Try to position yeah, my yeah, yeah, yeah. cursor where I think they'll be. Try to figure out exactly what's going on rather than just spamming. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Yeah, it's a little bit more about trigger discipline, but see, with trigger discipline, your uh, main focus would be on when do you click your primary fire. Uh, mm -hmm. With observation, it's more about decisions. Right. And just looking, yeah, you observe something, what, what, how they move, and then clicking. Yeah, but those right. habits are really connected. Like, sure, yeah. you, if, if you can, maybe you can implement those two together, but see if it's not way too complicated. It's, it's just not too much. I'm usually suggesting pick one habit and then work on that. But yeah, you can work on two sometimes, just make sure it makes sense yeah make sure it's easy okay one thing i always worry about is my movement especially when i'm um holding a shot or something i know it doesn't matter as much for hanzo but it's only a 30 percent move speed penalty and i'm not necessarily strafing very much right i'm i'm mostly like and if i am sometimes it really messes with my aim so i don't know if looking at my movement you'd say i need to strafe more when i'm you know shooting less take like just stand still or whatever depends uh that is actually <laughs> that is actually something of what can make it easier to aim if you move properly yeah yeah i've noticed people doing the whole like they're strafing right i'm gonna strafe right and it cancels out the strafe yeah and uh, there, there's a lot of stuff that's very yeah it's very fair so, so i mean even sometimes on hanzo i feel like strafing the opposite direction is not a terrible thing but mm -hmm. um for whatever reason, maybe the arrow's like long or whatever it is. Yeah, but, you know, um, it's not something I do consciously, you know, and I think it's really hard for me to do consciously without losing track of everything else. Yeah, yeah, the movement is definitely something which is like you're gonna be doing a lot of, yeah, it's gonna be a lot subconsciously sort of yeah it's it's definitely should be the first focus i think the first focus is just okay. your decision so the start yeah you will see that it might translate to better movement as well and then all this other stuff but we can we can look at the movement more we can do no that. no no need it, uh, i um we'll if see. The, there's, I just there's a lot see. of value yeah. to be gained in this other stuff then i'm very happy to focus on that instead yeah i'm yeah. just i'm writing down it, it anyway because we've been focusing okay. on how to make it easy for us to to aim so just in case if it's needed we'll look at it or we still have something like awareness wise scouting will tracking that is something what will be more valuable most likely for the next session we'll discuss that makes more makes sense mm -hmm. you know if you're up for it 